Hello teachers, I'm Yamanda and I'll be guiding you through everything you need to know about creating and using effective visual content as part of your remote teaching toolkit. I'd like to give a special shout out to our digital storyteller, Georgie, who's actually behind all of these incredible videos. So let's start with the basics. What constitutes visual content anyway? There are three key pillars, text, photo, and video. So remember that they are all image-based. So when we mention text, for example, think of something like infographics or charts, because they combine text, icons, shapes, and other images to simplify a complex topic. With regards to photos and videos, it's pretty clear that images can include anything from your own photographs and drawings and other open source images you can find online, like amazing pictures of animals made available by National Geographic, same things when it comes to videos. You can create your own video, like the one you're watching right now, or you can use tons of open source videos you can find online, like on YouTube and Vimeo. So the key takeaway is that you have to make sure to incorporate visuals to your remote lessons, because research has shown that visual content helps students increase engagement and knowledge retention, and also it helps them conceptualize visually, which is particularly important for visual learners and students with learning disabilities. And it is even a crucial form of learning for students on the autism spectrum. So remember to always incorporate some kind of visual content to your e-learning lessons.